How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video by thanking everyone for subscribing to my channel. We made it to 60,000 subscribers and that that means the world to me. So thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for also making this channel such a positive environment. Hey! Eat! So thank you guys and today we have a huge, a huge project. So let's get this day started. How far up is it going to go? Um, that will be up to you. But I will make some suggestions and, and, and kind of like guide you into what would look better and what is too much. Okay. Yeah, so little areas, uh, I go based off the whole theme. So if it needs a little bit more dark areas or more gray areas. I, my tattoos, what I don't like is when they look super black. I don't like that. Yeah. I like when they have a lot of dimension to yes. it. So that way when you're walking around, you're able to see from afar what it is. Uh, but also you don't lose the shape of it, you know, because I don't like when you have a piece and you kind of like, what is that? Let me see. And then you have mm -hmm. to like figure it out. If you approve this design uh, as how it is now, go ahead and sign here. Morning, uh, should she have Advil or anything like that? No, don't take anything for painkillers. Uh, do not put any ointment that's going to numb your skin. And then um, I, we saw on YouTube that it's usually just a person, but can I be in there with Oh, them? you can. Yeah, no, okay. usually the people who come in there from out of state, they like to travel alone for some reason. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can come. Yeah. Well, yeah, so yeah. will probably be going in and out. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Give me energy, Kenny. Give me energy. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm good. My client is coming in. She's getting her first tattoo. And what we're going to be doing, she's getting a full outer sleeve. That's her first tattoo, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, so we have a lot of footage to record. So I'm just, let's just get it. It's going to be two days back to back. We have a huge project with the concept that we have here, which is the Joker and his hand with strings. And the bottom of his, uh, the outer sleeve is gonna have uh, the other Joker, Phoenix. And we're gonna make it look like he's playing with him like a puppet. Uh, I'm really nervous, but I'm excited. I know it's gonna be worth it, so. <laughs> I've wanted a tattoo for like ever, but the Joker, I've always been like a fan of his. And all, like I've watched his movie a million times. Well, Heath Ledger's Joker at least, and so, when I thought of like getting him as a tattoo, it just I knew it was like the one that I was gonna get, and I haven't changed my mind since. We have the parents here. The support <laughs> is real. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so here we go. First little line here. When I see a client hurting, what I like doing is I just like moving to a different spot. That way I give them like a little break. So in this situation, since it was my client's first tattoo, uh, the spot that I started was actually a little bit painful. So what I did, I just moved to a different spot because I didn't want her to think that, that was, that's what she was gonna feel for the whole entire tattoo. So I just moved so she can gain her confidence. I'm gonna move to a different spot. You know what it feels like on a different area.
So what we did here, we already did the whole entire uh, outfit or not, how are you, a jacket? The, a suit? The, the suit jacket? <laughs> I didn't want to record the whole entire uh, suit area because it's just a lot of black and a lot of shades. So there's really not much to talk about. And then as far as the face, I wanted to get uh, the face done before I kind of went over how I did this whole texture. So the key is to leaving a lot of like open skin so you can go back later on and add some white highlights to give it that dimension. So all I'm doing is what I've been doing in almost all my videos, like adding texture with a 14 round liner. My voltage is at 5.0. So this is my darkest area. Start adding a little bit darker areas here. I'm using my medium tone and dipping it once on my solid black. And here, this is where it gets, this is where the fun starts. How to separate the skin from the makeup. So I'm gonna pick this, the middle of the forehead. I'm gonna start creating like dots and, and scribbles to give it that 3D effect. Since the Joker's makeup is so all over the place, I'm gonna take advantage and kind of have fun with it and start creating my own textures where I feel like it's gonna make the Joker's face look better. So what I'm doing here is making sure that I'm thinking in a negative uh, perspective. So whatever it's gray, that's the skin tone. Whatever is left negative, that's the makeup. So now what, I'm, what I did is uh, I dipped it in my medium one time and then I kind of um, mixed it with my lightest gray to give me that tone that I'm looking for. Uh, let's see what tone, that perfect. It's all about dipping back and forth until you find the right mixture that you're looking for. Perfect, so now I'm gonna dip it once more in my lightest gray. There we go. So now that I have, for example, like this area here, I have the shape that I want uh, and right in between in this area so it won't be so blank, I'm gonna add a little bit of texture and at the end when I add the white highlights, I'm gonna enhance those areas that I added this tones here, which is this, this and that. So I'm gonna enhance those with by adding white highlights around it and it's gonna look three dimensional. So here, since there's a lot of white, I gotta make sure that I add just minimal texture just to give it the illusion on the receiving hairline. Is that what you call it? The receiving hairline? What? This area here? Yes. Receiving hairline? This technique is called following your heart. Do whatever you pleased. I promise it will come out great. Very light now. It's my lightest gray at the moment. So that's why I'm adding all those little textures. It's really helping me separate the skin and the makeup. But as you notice, I worked uh, from my medium tone and then started dipping it on my lightest until I got the tone that I wanted. But it's a slow transition. So you gotta be patient and make sure that you start on the darkest part of the tattoo. And by the time you get to the lightest part of the, the, the area, you are already working with your lightest gray. And that is how I would do the makeup on the forehead. So <laughs> I hope this helped you. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue. And don't forget to follow your heart. Don't forget to follow your heart, ever. Remember guys, don't forget to follow your heart. And then do this. Don't forget to follow your
Yesterday was definitely tough for my client. She was not going to tap out, so I have to do it for her. She was definitely in a lot of pain. I did not record much yesterday because there was not a lot to show. I did record the most important thing, which was the face and how I do those little textures, uh, which was basically the center of attention of that piece. Um, so we'll see what happens today. Uh, I hope that we can complete the outer sleeve. So let's see what happens and let's get to it. So what we got here, I already put on the stencil. We are doing uh, the Joker Phoenix and um, with the background of clowns on top of the, the, um, the cop car. And that, this is what's gonna make everything come together and make everything make sense. We have the hand here with the strings going down. And yeah, as far as yesterday, obviously we could not finish the piece. It became, it became painful. Uh, I felt a lot better and rested today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it did start getting a little rough yesterday. But... What area did you feel like it was the toughest? Yesterday. I feel like right around here and then the a little the bit thing. of the shading just mm -hmm. because that's like when I felt it in my mm -hmm. hip. So what I was doing, I was just kind of navigating through the whole piece, making sure that the area that it was hurting a lot, I'll stay away from it for a little bit just so she can like breathe and then move on to a different spot. So uh, looking at your daughter going through, you know, yesterday's tattoo, what was like your thoughts and stuff like that? Like seeing her like being in pain. And <laughs> You know what? The, what amazed me is funny is that. Um, can you hold this? You, you watch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I know. You 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 watch all these videos and you have this like perception of what you think it's gonna be like. And so immediately I was trying to prepare my brain like, okay, her skin's gonna get really red. I'm gonna see blood being smeared and this and that. And it wasn't. And I guess my. I mean, as a mom, my most favorite part was at the end of the evening. You knew she was going to push, but you knew her body was saying <laughs> yeah. no. no. And so that just showed, for me, that showed responsibility. That looks cool, huh? Beyond, dude. God, yeah. It, it, it's it, an it, emotional... It in the way. It's definitely, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. it's definitely an emotional experience, mm -hmm. I gotta say. But that's awesome. So I wanted to go in depth um, in this area here, how I'm blending out black to like a reddish color. It's not bright red. I'm mixing my brown and my red to create this tone here because obviously concept here, the, the picture that I have, it's almost like a silhouette with uh, showing a little bit of that red. So you don't want to go too bright because it's not going to look realistic. So here I'm blending out my black like this. This is solid black. And as you can see here, I, uh, I did like a little line to kind of like guide me, telling me that that's where I'm supposed to start blending it out to my red. And now I'm gonna dip it in my brown. So now we're starting to see a little bit of more of that brown as we move lower on the jacket. And I'm using my 27 Curve Mag uh, with a 5.0 voltage.
Now this is my pure brown now. So I want to keep it like that until I'm ready to start transitioning into my red. I'm gonna dip it in my red ones. And as I move closer to the end of the jacket, I'm gonna dip it more and more in my red. So by the time I'm at the end of the jacket, it's gonna be brighter. I'm dipping it more and more in my red. And I, st I already start seeing changes in my, in my tone here. So I'm just kind of touching up these areas that are super dark with my red. It's no longer brown. You know, give you that highlight at the end. Thank you guys for tuning back in and watching this new video. Uh, and to all the artists who have been messaging me and sending me their work, I am amazed by how much you guys are learning. Thank you guys for tagging me in your stories. Honestly, I, I try to answer as many people as I can and um, I'm, I always enjoy seeing you guys sharing uh, your journey. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Oh. <laughs> so the whole point of this video is that he will not see anything until we're done with the with the whole session. How'd you get this done? I was 18. I went the cheap way.